Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an updated rift in UEFN. This is an updated version of the tutorial I made some time back. It's quite old and I'm going to be honest it looks quite bad so I'm going to be showing you how I do it in my current maps so you can do it as well as I get a lot of requests on how I've done it. And if this video does well I'll show some more in-depth customization and maybe some more tutorials. So first of all, you're going to want to go into whatever project you want. So in my case, I'm just going to create a new one right here. Okay, so once you are in your project as usual, you're not going to want to do anything in here for now. Uh, most of this stuff is actually in the file explorer. What you want to do is uh, right click on any folder that you have in your project and you're going to want to show in explorer. That should open up a new window right here. Now, once you're in there, you're going to want to go back. So you're in the content folder right here of your project. Once you're there, just leave that as is, have that open. You're going to want to go to the link I am going to paste in the description and in the comments of this video. That link will take you here to this Google Drive folder. You can rename it if you want once you've downloaded it, but you're gonna go ahead and download that. It's gonna tell you that you can't scan it for viruses. That's fine, there's nothing going on in it. Let it download. Once you have it open in your uh, file extractor, you're gonna have both of these open at the same time, and you're just gonna drag and drop this into your content folder. Now, you may or may not see it appear right away. If you don't see it appear right away, that's fine. Just file, save all and reopen your project. After that, you should have everything that's needed. The actual rift, the particle effect is uh, within Crack, Osiris, NS. These are all the different variations. So you have like build up, which I actually, I don't think I can show without, oh no, it's, it's there. This one, sometimes to take a little bit to uh, compile because these are quite complex. You might get some errors while opening these, that's fine. Just ignore them. The big one, these smaller ones, if that would activate, yeah, like that. Anyways, once you have all that, don't get, don't get ahead of yourself just yet. You're going to want to go right click the folder and click resave all. This is because if you try and launch a session, with this, it's not going to validate properly and you're not going to be able to launch the session. Once that's done, uh, you're pretty much good to go. Now, if you know what you're doing, you can open these up and customize them to your heart's content. So, so if I wanted to, say, resize the cracks, I could go to initialize particle, mesh scale, and change the numbers until they look how I want them to look. Everything in these is completely customizable. You can do whatever you want with them. And if this tutorial is good and you guys like it, maybe I'll do one on customizing these to make them look how I do. Now it's actually quite easy to figure this all out. There are some good tutorials, but other than that, yeah. So that is the tutorial on how to make an updated Rift for your creative maps. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. If there's anything that's unclear, just ask me in a comment and I'll do my best to answer.